So today we're talking about the software library or the definitive media library in uh, in ITIL terms. So the first thing you need to do is pick your software. Um, and this you should be thinking about. You should be reading release notes. You should be checking bugs in that version of software. Make sure this is software that you can live with. The bugs aren't, uh, aren't going to affect you too much. And it's got all the features you need. So this is really critical because you want to try to to make sure you're on one version of software. Okay, next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna look at importing and setting the baseline image in IMC, and then we're gonna show you how to audit against your baseline to make sure that you're actually running the right version of code on all your devices in your network. Let's take a look. So here we are in the HP IMC interface, and we're gonna go up into service and into the ICC, or the Intelligent Configuration Center, and go to the software library. So the software library is a place that's got, uh, obviously, software. Um, so this is your iOS, your Comware, um, Junos, those kind of things. So if you to get software into here, you would import it. But I'm not going to take you through that today. It's pretty easy. Um, your FTP, TFTP, all those kind of things. So let's assume that you've already got software in there. Um, in this case, we're going to look at this A5500EI software, and we can tell some things about the software, the applicable devices, where it came from, so it was imported from a switch, so in this case I imported directly from a switch, and the applicable devices will actually uh, kind of do a sanity check for you. So we're going to click on the modify button and show you how you apply the applicable devices. So what the applicable device, what this really does is it just checks the sysoid against what you're trying to apply it to to make sure that you're trying to put code on the right version of 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 device. You're not trying to put iOS on a Comware, Comware on an iOS, you're not trying to put 5500 EI on a 7500, all those kind of things. So we're going to go in here, we're going to apply it for a 4800G, which was the old 3Com branding. So in the uh, acquisition, the former 3Com 4800G and 5500EI, um, those have all been uh, eliminated, skew rationalization, and we're down to the same version of code running on three legacy products, which is now all known under the name of the HP 5500EI. So what we're doing here is we're going in, we're finding 5500EI, we're going to, there it is, these are all the devices that this code will apply to, we're good to go but there was also the HP 5500EI, so let's just make sure we get both of those at the same time. Here we got H3C, we got HP, there we go, click OK. And now we go into here and we just do a quick little verify. It's always good when you are, are doing something within, well, general practice, is make sure you take a look and make sure you, you didn't fat finger something. So now that we've created the got the software into the library and we've created the applicable devices, we, we have the sanity check to make sure I'm not going to apply switch software to a router or or 3Com or HP or whatever to a Cisco or Juniper device. The next thing we, we want to do is do a baseline. So we're going to set the baseline. We can either do this to a single device or to a series, a model. So for a single device, you might want to do this because say you have um, call manager in place and you have your 2800 routers that have a specific version of code that you're running just for your call manager, whereas you've got normal iOS on the other ones. Um, in this case, we're going to do the device model because a switch is a switch. Um, HP has no licensing. So we're going to apply it to all the same switches. And again, 5500, there we go. We'll choose the 5500EI and the HP 5500EI. There we go. Click OK. We're going to uh, go back in here. We forgot the 4800G, so we're going to make sure that that's, that's baselined against as well. Query. And this way we will catch all three of those devices. Um, we're sending this on the device model, so anytime you discover a new um, switch of any of these three types, discovered and classified by the CISO ID, so this is the SNMP uh, personality or fingerprint, if you will, um, we will automatically be able to audit against this and say, hey, are you running the right version of code for my network? So we're going to click Next. Wait a couple seconds for this to catch up. And there we go. We can look through the operation result. Succeeded, succeeded, succeeded. Everything's good. We're going to click OK. So now that we've set the baseline, now imagine if you've got 
50 or 60 switches in your network. How exactly would you audit that? Well, we make that easy for you too. So we're going to go up again into the Configuration Center. We're going to go down to Configuration Audit. And we're going to choose the Software Baseline. So we're going to do an audit of the Software Baseline. Pretty self-explanatory. So what we do here is we, if we have defined a Software Baseline, we're going to be able to see whether it's unknown, which means software baseline has not been defined, whether it's changed, so you're in violation of your baseline, or in this case, identical. So identical is a good thing. You should have green everywhere here. And if it's not, you click the checkbox, you click the restore button, and you'll be instantly taken into a software deployment dialog, and you'll be able to push this out to, uh, to the device right away. Makes things really easy for you. So that is that. So we'll cancel out of this. I've already got the right version of code. And with that, I'll see you guys next time on the next IMC management tutorial.